Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Um, what I got for you today, this is all about the NM Minor. November Mike Minor. Okay? Don't confuse it with the Nerd Minor version 2. Alright? The Nerd Minor version 2, again, is open source. Anybody can manipulate the software firmware on it. Okay? Where the NM Minor that I just showed you is closed sourced. It's privately owned. You have to buy a license to use it. Okay? With that said, all right, um, I myself are somewhat of a hypocrite when it comes to that because my viewers know that they can go to nextgengizmo.com and upload my firmware, okay, that has the open password, so on and so forth in it, okay? The reason that I supply you with that firmware and that is totally your choice if you want to trust that firmware is because a lot of the newcomers to the pastime of you know mining with these little things um, they don't have the skills of using something like VS Code or Platform IO to manipulate the nerd miner version to software to open up that password field and and make it their own so that is why I manipulate the the VS code I get everything set up for everybody and I I supply it for free to anybody that wants the firmware now it's totally on you if you want to use my firmware or not okay I mean I myself I'm the person that's giving you this firmware right where right now and I give you my guarantee whatever it's worth to you that it is full I mean free of any kind of hidden agenda time bots and so on and so forth where I cannot vouch for the NM minor the November Mike minor that is the minor with the guy on the front with the axe you know the big burly guy with the axe that is an NM minor. Now, I have been following along with, I actually own one MM minor, just for testing purposes. Other than that, I do not promote it. I lost my train of thought. Where was I going with this? Okay, so anyways, this NM minor is owned by a company in Hong Kong where you upload their software and then they want a $3 fee for you to use it okay but this nm miner has what is called time bots built into the firmware over the holiday season this christmas holiday season probably a lot of you have got these and you notice that i think it was on christmas eve um christmas eve morning all of your miners were flashing with a blue light and then the um graphics on the front showed a bitcoin with a Santa hat on top of it okay that is what you call a time bot all right either it was a time bot or the soft the software engineers on that out in Hong Kong sent out a massive firmware update to every one of the NM miners in the world to show that coin with the Santa hand on it Santa hat on it. So that means that this company can get right straight through your firewall into your NM miner to manipulate the graphics on it. Where NM miner, I, I, I don't have anything built into mine. All right. That's why NM miner is open source. You can see exactly what is in there. Okay. Now, what had happened? Um, yes, well, it was, was it yet? No, this morning. I went on to my Facebook group. Yes, I have a Facebook group. If you guys like to join it, I'll, I'll leave a link down below. Um, I have a Facebook group, and one of the subscribers on there said, Hey, um, has anybody else had a problem with Zpool? All of my, my miners were kicked off. It, are they going on to the same thing, like unminable and kicking off all the, the, uh, the low-end miners hang on guys my 
my uh, monitor just crapped out. Um, no, what had happened was is I got in contact with Zpool and Zpool uh, got back to me and said we did some upgrades on our crypto nodes and when we did the upgrade it kicked everybody off while we did the upgrades and then that subscriber on Facebook did later say that yes all of my miners came back online on Zpool and that's what happened Zpool did a upgrade okay so hang on a second so what happened was is I immediately went and checked all of my nerd miner version 2's and they were all on the pool everything was working fine <clears throat> so a little time went by and I go oh wait a minute I didn't check my uh, I didn't check my NM miner so I have an NM miner over in that corner up on a shelf I never think of it the only time I pull it out is when I want to do a YouTube video about it which I'm doing now that's why it's on my desk um, I went to the pool that I have it on and it wasn't there my wallet address and everything was there but it wasn't there so I went into the graphic user interface of the NM miner and guess what I found I'm gonna show you right now uh, let's see I'm just going to bring you guys down here for a second and I'm going to bring up where did I put it okay there it is there so I'm gonna bring you guys over here this is what I found on my pool this morning I took a, a clip copy or whatever you call of the um, graphic user interface of my Miner, all right. I never mine to publicpool.io, and I never use Taz mining either. And this is not my crypto ID, my uh, my wallet address. This belongs to I don't know to who. So what I did was I have my miner has a name of DIY on it. Okay. If you notice right here, usually you put dot .diy, it's not there. And it's not here either. So what I did, I said, well, wait a minute, let me investigate this a little further. I copied this address and I went to publicpool.io. All right, so let's go there next. Bring this down. Here's publicpool.io. So I'm going to paste... Oh, I got to get that address. Here's the address right here. This is the address I found in my miner. I'm going to put this in publicpool.io because that's where it says it's going. I'm going to go my workers. Now, keep in mind, I went, matter of fact, let me go back here. I want to show you something. There are NM miners. Where was it? There's 40,000 of them mining. Uh, let's see where did I see that uh, I can't find it right now but anyways let me put that address back in here my workers now that's the address that I found on my miner now I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna see now my miner is named DIY and lo and behold there is DIY and I am mining for I don't know who I don't know who I'm mining for all right but this miner this this address I'm gonna put it in there again my workers let it think this address let me know when you want me to stop I can guarantee you there is probably 30,000 miners on this 
one Bitcoin address. And if you notice on each one of these, it's on an average of one mega hash. And ask yourself, what is the average hash rate of a NM miner? It is one mega hash. Look at this. On average, every one of these miners is mining one mega hash. Now guys, ask yourself. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep on going here. Look at this. Ask yourself. Do you think this is some guy living in his mom's house in the basement and he has 30,000 NM miners mining to his wallet address that is this and this is the wallet address I found on my one and only NM miner all right you want me to keep going guys I've only done a quarter of this there's tens of thousands of NM miners mining right now to that wallet address let me know when you want me to stop and again guys look at this the average is one miner one mega hash I'm, I mean I'm coming back So, what do they call that? Proof in the pot. I urge all of you NM miner guys, check your NM miner immediately because there's probably 30,000 of you if you watch my channel. Hopefully I get 30,000 views on this and I can help all of you guys get your miner off of that guy's wallet address. You are mining for somebody else. Check your miner. I've got it. I got proof right here. I'm going to leave that Bitcoin address down below. If you don't believe me, go and check it for yourself. That one wallet address has thirty thousand NM miners mining. So there could be an NM miner um, out there somewhere that actually you think you're mining. It has all your information, but it's got a hidden bot in it that is actually mining somewhere else. I digress. I leave it. I leave it up to you. Do you believe me? Or do you believe a company out in Hong Kong? Find out for yourself. Check your NM miners, guys. You're mining for somebody else questions comments leave it down below buy me a coffee this one I this one deserves a coffee see you on the next one